have a brain tumor. It just took the wind out of me. I said, well, what do I do? And he takes out a piece of paper and a pen, and he goes, well, fortunately, you know, Phoenix has one of the best neurological facilities in the country. And this is the guy you, I mean, he's tapping. This is the guy you want to see. If you can get to see this guy, you are in the best hands possible. And he writes down this name, circles it, and I can still see those dots of him going, this is the best, you know, with his ballpoint pen. He's a man of few words, but what he says, you need to hear it and do it and know that he knows exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> he cares so much about his patients, and he treats every case so seriously and so meticulously, and nothing's a routine for him. I know. I just know that about him, that every patient to him is so special. And that is gonna be passed down. That will always carry on and be something that stands out at Barrow versus any other facility across the nation. He's a hero to me. He's someone that I think about every day and I'm grateful for every day of my life because I truly believe he played a significant role in my ability to beat stage four brain cancer. I know I've told him before, but I am seriously grateful to you every day of my life. I look at my child, I look at my husband, and I know that I wouldn't be here without you and I wouldn't have those things without you. And I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for not operating on me once, but twice and saving my life. <laughs>